them. Uh, so here we are, heading right. I don't know if this is a button check or game one. We're heading right into it. Yeah, and it's right. Game one, yep. Uh, honestly, I could see Banjo doing good, because Krom does overextend quite a lot when he jumps in, or he can overextend when he jumps in. And that grenade is so good at catching any slightly off-time jump in. And, uh, but I also feel like um, when Banjo does his Wonder Ring, and Krom is one of those characters where it's like, he can bait out the Wonder Ring very well, and then also punish him no matter where he is on stage. Yeah, he's super fast. He yeah. definitely run up and do a down tilt. There's just an opportunity for a huge conversion there. And like we said before, James does have experience playing as Banjo. You Quite died. a bit. Ooh, that was just a terrible Wonder Ring. Yeah, and, and, and it's funny, James just walking, just walking sometimes when he's approaching um, Banjo. Definitely has matchup knowledge. Yeah, you can tell he's not going to run into any of these projectiles coming out, uh, any of the moves that Banjo throws out, especially with this lead right here. James is going to be so patient. Look at him just waiting on the ground. Uh, yeah. He's a master at uh, catching landings with up air. He will wait until the last possible moment to either do a short hop up air or mix it up with an up tilt. He's just amazing at it. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, Krom amazing at catching projectiles with throwing out F tilts. Yeah, and just a massive move. Literally, he, he's timed almost all of these his aerials to catch the, the projectile while he's approaching Ray. And the, it's all very intentional. James is extremely skilled like that. Yeah, it was a little caught the grenade a little bit late and wound up getting hit for it, but uh, one has a huge lead right now. Yeah, and one thing I do like that Ray is doing though is that Ray is land. He's landing with the up B mix up, so he's not landing the same every single time. Wow. Yes. Sir. Find himself a pretty high percent right here. Krom's jab becomes extremely deadly right now. Really doesn't care where you're on the stage. Grab with the possible uh, uh, F throw into F tilt mix ups. Ray is getting out of here. He wants no part of the stock, it looks like. He will live because he's a. No, he got pineapples. So he will wow, okay. All that. Wow. So the miss input there costing the stock and yeah. games a uh, huge lead, but we have seen a couple of three stock, reverse three stocks today, so don't count him out yet. Yeah, unfortunate stuff. Um, oh, that hit well. Okay. I mean, right now, Ray has him at the ledge. Let's see what he can do. James. James is so good at recovering, too. I don't... Uh, I guess Wonder Wing is super good against a B from Krom. You can just kind of probably kill him like 30, you know, just throw that out there. Force him off. Yeah, and I feel like even the projectiles would be good against Krom recovering. Ooh, uh, no back He air. didn't face... Yeah, he was facing the wrong way. I don't know if that was intentional. I'm surprised James didn't go for Uppy there and attempt the suicide. He's a, he's a big fan of that. Okay, back air is just going to edge that one out there by a tad. Just barely. Okay. Okay, good shield pressure coming out from Ray. But he's, he's down so much, you know? Especially when you're down this much, the Wonder Wing can be exhausted pretty quickly, and then you lose that like last stock clutch option that uh, you can kind of rely on heavily. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's not the way to keep the wonderings at like such a high percent against the jab. Ooh, it was a pretty deep jab. Uh, we moved far away, from it, so not going open. Really I'm just stuck in the corner right there. The yeah. back air catching the startup is not going to matter here. Yeah. No um, contest. Yeah, like, like, like this matchup is pretty rough. I can imagine it being. Yeah, I don't see. Uh, I'm sure neither of us have that much experience watching this, but uh, it is definitely. Definitely see why it would be a difficult uh, time yeah. for him. So, um, I feel like Yeah, we got the Palu. Yeah, I was about to say, like... There we go. I definitely see the Palu coming out. Uh, and this matchup... While the neutral is fairly even, almost, like, perfectly even, it feels, offstage, Palu gets to kind of mess with Prom pretty freely. I, you know, I do feel like the neutral can be a little bit tilted towards... Krom's favor, yes. especially the way he juggles Palutena, but yes. definitely offstage it's just like, yeah. But there are platforms here, so uh, I know Ray does not teleport cancel a lot, but that does kind of give you uh, an almost get out of juggle free card yeah. by uh, teleport canceling us the platforms. Ooh, okay. I wonder if uh, James intentionally whiffed that Nair to get to get the grab mix up, or if he just um, messed up his air drifts and messed it up. Yeah, but either way, good job. Ooh. Ooh, okay, went, went for another jab. Try to get the jab back or confirm. And All stage here, going for the spike, does Our not find it though. Great grab. Pulling Ray out of the shield. The F tilt, ooh, does not offer F tilt, but still finds the back air. 
Okay. And, yeah, and right now... He's just down a lot. He needs some of those classic Palu edge guards, and yeah. Ray likes to play with the lead. And is he dead? Oh, no. Is he gonna kill him? Ah, he doesn't have the balls to fade out and take him down. Oh yeah, no. I don't not, blame not him. Not, not against Palo at that percent. And the funny thing about James is that when he's in the lead, he's gonna camp this PS2 platform. He is gonna it's stand. So good to camp, yeah. He's gonna stand under this. Look, he's gonna stand under this PS2 platform until you commit to an option. And then he jumps in. We saw that deadly jump in. Crom's landing buttons are crazily safe, especially against Palo. Her out of shield options. Oh my god. That four smash. Palo's out of shield options are kind of looky weak. Yeah, you know, really they, is the best one is like average. Nair, you know. That should be it. No, the yeah. perfect snap. You can't, never count out yeah, yeah, I'm you, so wrong. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that, especially at that That it? Oh, no, he's going to move. Okay, looking for these F-tilts. going to get that. That should be it. Just blows them up for the jab back air. And Rivers right now is just washing, washing Ray, without a doubt. Yeah. Um, this is probably what Ray was fearing. Because right now, it's just like, it's just very hard for him to land to get something started in Mutual. Okay, finds a bit of a cheeky stock there. James not really ready for the explosive flame. Yeah, and, and uh, I don't think he's too concerned about it, though. I don't think we're ever too concerned. I'd be big chilling right now, yeah. There's nothing to really worry about. I, you got it, James. You do that. Oh, the read! Oh, uh, takes him out real quick. Yeah. Kind yeah. of a wash. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a wash. And Ray's just like, yeah, just run it back. Okay, and uh, Jersey looking to even up the set count yeah. on the even matchup. And it's, it's just hard. It just seems like it's just hard for a raid to land against something started. Like, at all times, James is putting out a hitbox, and then when he's in the lead, he's just camping at that platform. Whenever you miss input or put out any button, he's just in your face with, like, a landing area. And Palu's, uh, like... Like, she can't nair Chrom Shield. So Uppy is always a true punish on there. Oh, yeah. So... Like, you didn't have, like, that really easy approach option. He's actually going to go for the parry there. You could just hold shield and then up beat. Obviously, you can't there because it's a little bit of platform. Yeah, platform. Pretty much has to rely on fair. And then Krom can just outrange fair. So, it, it could definitely be a struggle on stage. But, at the same time, Palu can blow up Krom just to end. Oh, much. my God. And that... Throwing up up air at his shield coming out from Krom is just... Palu is definitely tall enough to ride. He gets hit by that, so... Okay. Can be a little scary. Wow, what a jab, and he okay. gets the back air on the tech. James is so good. James yeah. is just so good. And that was so good on James, not even to go for the jab back air, knowing that he was going to land on the platform just to get the tech chase anyway. Mm -hmm. Kill him, James. Ah, oh. no, no, no. He's too far away. That was good Yang coming from him, right? As Yang down there. His Krom is yeah. magnificent. Uh, a little yeah, bit greedy. Saves his double jump, though. I like it, but... And, uh, and that was crazy that. bait. That was crazy bait coming out from Ray. He threatened to go low just mm -hmm. to come back high to counter, and he got both of his both of his um uppies. Yeah, he definitely. It might have looked sloppy from James there, but I just think the fear of God was in him, or fear of the goddess. My yeah, because it's just like you can't really do much when Palo goes off stage like that. You kind of have to hold that, and it's just like you have to take the threat of her going low and you having to preemptively up you. Wow, what pressure right there! Ooh, but the fade back, saving him from that up smash. Oh, that, oh my God! Can we talk about that that falling up into a regrab? Super nice. Oh, he oh, is going to no. get the down tilt right there. Ops for no jab. The jab could have been a, a kill option right there. But he is not going to find it. And once again, Palu stuck at the ledge. What will we see? Krom matching giant buttons. <laughs> not surprised in <laughs> the And you slides. cannot do anything about it. Goes for the S-Mesh there and not the F tilt. A little surprising. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he snuck through that. Yeah, I'm that surprised. I thought he was going to get stuff. That's what back air does. Actually, I've seen a lot of limited back air usage. And uh, traditionally, Pally players will tell you against the Fire Emblem characters, their two best buttons are by far. Nice. That is so clean. But as I was saying, Pally's two best buttons to use are definitely um, back air and dash attack. Because they don't care if they're destroyed. Oh, yeah. There is no care in the Yeah, because Fire Emblem characters like to mash on landing. Of course. And those moves will eat that mash. Okay, like, just like should... there. Oh, he had his double jump. Wow, but he is going to die. Or was that air dodge? Probably um, was air dodge. Yeah. Like, eating mash against the fireman characters is like a really good thing to do. Okay, Ray stepping it up right here. Uh, the Nair there, a little haphazard, eats an up for it, but not that much damage. You got a pretty much even game. Yeah, Nairing out of shield. River's Krom is just so good. Dude. He is so smart with how he chases everything. Yeah. Fading out to get the lightning hitbox gives me a little bit of damage. And he's doing a good job, like, not really pressing into power. Ooh, okay. Good job getting the directional air dodge there. If he was in a, a tech situation, pretty much a guaranteed kill with that smash. Good thing. 
Oh, okay. Palu can definitely just like skill grab that jab. I think it's minus ten. So, wow, the backer does it. Yeah, but the thing is though, especially with Krom, and less so with like Roy. So like, when Krom's hitting you with that tip, like hitting with the end of the end of the sword with his jab sometimes, mm -hmm. and you whiff that grab, you just die. You're getting hit with forward tilt. So that's or probably just what, another jab. Yeah, yeah that's probably but what's Palu's, most characters. Yes, but we're talking about Palu's reverence here. It's not your I mean, average character. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He, I feel like you get.